So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome today to a place where we're going to talk about Pluto. Yes. And, but I remember I told you before that I have not done as extensive of a research as I have done with Uranus and Neptune than Pluto. But that does not mean that I have not understood some hardcore principles of Pluto. It's, no, it's like you're trying to understand a single nakshatra. And in the beginning of your research, you really find out this one thing that exists. While you also know that there are six other things that also exist about the nakshatra, but you find out later in your research because you haven't dived deep into it yet. So that's what it is. You know, um, I'm at the beginning stages, you can say, but hey, there's still some good evidence of what Pluto is doing, especially from a sidereal Vedic astrological perspective. And as always, if you do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what shatra it's in, you know, all the astrological details for that, check out the links here, check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Maghavedic Astrology Academy, where you'll find all kinds of courses, including some future courses coming on Charadasha and Navamsha. Specifically Navamsha. It's going to come sometime this year. But yeah, so let's talk about uh, our faraway friend Pluto. With Pluto, the one thing that you have to understand, um, <laughs> Pluto, and this is where for the new people who are watching this, you really have to study nakshatras, the 27 constellation. And if you just study this one nakshatra of Pluto, I'm not, I mean, not Pluto, this one nakshatra known as lunar mansions, you actually will know a whole lot about Pluto, which is Pluto is Yama, the nakshatra of Bharani, the essence of Bharani that you see. That is Pluto. I would actually say Pluto is kind of like if Yama and Varuna had a child. If Yama and Varuna had a child, it pretty much may be called Pluto. This is a particular planet that is about dealing with kind of like that strict hit, that strict hit of karma. For example, the best way I can also put Pluto is Prarabdha Karma, the unchangeable karma. You know, like we feel that, okay, if we embrace a planet, we can really understand ourselves and we can progress. That will be the remedy because if you can kind of embrace your planets, understand them, great, you will get to understand a whole lot about yourself. Pluto is this one thing. Pluto will be like, you want to understand me? Okay, study everything about me, understand me. Now that you have understood me, okay, whack, here's another hit by Pluto. Pluto is this particular energy that says you're going to have to deal with this. What you did in past life is just something you can't escape with. It doesn't matter if you're a saint, some priest, prime minister of a country, biggest movie star, biggest athlete. This one thing that, that you have, the placement of Pluto that there is, oh, you will have to deal with it. And you, either you do not get that thing at a place that I'm sitting at, or you're most definitely going to find a major transformation in your life through that particular house. And it'll be a transformation that is going to be felt like it's a, you know, being hit by a truck. Now, if you improve yourself afterwards, well, you're a better person for that. But I am not going to take this away just because, you know, you are... A good person. So for example, Pluto, let's say in the third house, will show you don't have any younger siblings. Or your relationship with that younger sibling will be practically dead, no matter how much you try to revive that relationship. So if let's say you don't have a younger sibling, you grew up, well, you can do whatever you want. You're not getting a younger sibling. 
especially if your parents are over the age of 50, 45, no chance. Maybe in the future, who knows? We don't, we're not in that future yet. So right now, we have to stick to the realistic life in 2021. So that's the kind of thing that Pluto hits you with. It's like, this is something you're just not getting. That's the number one thing. And it is not happening, not because Pluto hates you. Again, this is something that you did in your past life. This is the reason why you're not getting this particular thing. Pluto, again, that energy of Bharani and Yama comes in. Like Pluto makes you deal with those uh, situations that kind of like transformative, such transformative, it's kind of like going from li living to being dead. Because once you're dead, you're not coming back to the same body, same thing. It's just that transformation has, it, it's done. It's over. Forget about missing your family members, this and that. That's the transformation that place, takes place that once it changes a person, it is completely, you know, 720 degree uh, change. And people may say, well, Pluto is like Shiva. You know, uh, like it's that energy that cleans everything out. I wouldn't really say Pluto is Shiva. Shiva is actually a little bit much more... Uh, you know, affable than Pluto. Pluto is like you can think of, like I said, Yama, Varuna, and even Kali. They are going to hit you. If you did wrong, they're going to hit you. doesn't matter. You could be the son and daughter of God. You're going to get hit by that. That's the energy of Pluto that I've seen. Now, how, how else can Pluto, you know, uh, be functioning in astrology? So, like I was telling you before, right, that Pluto is kind of like this uh, Nakshatra Bharani because the thing is, Pluto brings about rules, regulations, policy, and law upon you. Upon that area of life where the law are so restricted, or so restrained, that sometimes a person can feel suffocated. And may even actually want to run away from that particular house where Pluto is sitting from or sitting in. You know, for example, Pluto, let's say if it's in the 11th house of a person's chart, um, the kind of pressure you will feel from either your professional network circles, large organizations, large gatherings, um, you will always feel like you're under this watchful eye of someone or the pretty much everyone who's in that organization, you will feel like you, the, you, you will feel suffocated. You will feel like you just can't breathe and you're going to run away from that. So usually what will happen over time is that such a person will not like to indulge in networking with people, will not like to indulge in going to large gatherings, large group setting, because they, they're the one who suffer that fate of that Pluto. And again, what could be the light side of it? Okay, what could be the light side of it? The light side of it could be the fact that, okay, well, you start to embrace solitude, isolation. You know, you start to embrace loving yourself more and maybe a very few close people than just trying to please the world, trying to please everybody around you. Because Pluto will show this karma that you're not going to be pleasing everybody. The more you please people, the more you're going to feel this dreadful energy from everybody there. So again, obviously the signs that Pluto is in will really again show that wave of these drastic changes. But Pluto again has this, you know, Kali-like um, energy. It is this energy that is very fierce very, um, you know, destructive uh, at the same time. Yet, there is this mystery about it. There is this tranquility about it. I'll tell you this much. The tranquility that you feel once you have dealt with Pluto's karma, it's far more peaceful than Neptune's confusion, mystical, 
hidden occultic magical energy because those are the things that you just feel like you're going crazy with am i really seeing this am i not really seeing this pluto is like look you dealt with it now grow out of it let's grow out of it okay can you grow out of it and how will you grow out of it well again the one other plan is coming to play how strong is your mind meaning moon how strong is your heart the sun how strong is your work ethics which is saturn and mars so you will see that okay you know what you'll deal with these issues and karma and you will come out of it and this is how you know pluto you can find salvation through pluto but again like i said there's many other things about pluto that i'm still trying to understand if over time I understand more because i do see that there are other things there are other things which i don't want to immaturely discuss you know until i know but there are things that actually no other planet uh kind of does so actually one does but uh, the way pluto does it that's what that's the beauty of these other things that i'm kind of like looking at so who knows maybe in one year two years three years i'll find that thing and then i will solidify it on uh through the medium of you know youtube so let's see till then ladies and gentlemen if you're new to my channel subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos if you want to know where your pluto is in your main birth chart the sign it's in the nakshatra it's in along with all your astrological details for that check out the links here including my book nakshatras at the speed of light that just came out so you'll get to learn exactly what i'm saying here all right bye bye